Carolyn of the family coop and my mailing address is 1316 Boyer Street, Richmond, Indiana. And I was listening to on the television uh, the February 3rd, 2014 televised um, Common Council. And thank you, you all do a good job. Ordinance number 7, 2014. <clears throat> An appropriation ordinance authorizing the city of Richmond to receive donations. Right, ordinance is on first reading. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Elstro. I'd like to make a motion on ordinance 1, 2014 and 7, 2014. Spend the rules and read by title only. Second. second. There's been a motion and a second to suspend the rules and hear ordinances 1 and 7, 2014. By title only. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Karen Ordinance 1214. A special ordinance vacating a public way. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tony Foster, Director of the Department of Metropolitan Development. <coughs> ordinance number 1214 is an ordinance <coughs> requesting that a right of way be vacated. Um, it is has addresses of zero because this is not uh, any, there are no residential structures or anything here. But what this is is uh, basically right of way that was platted that was never developed. Um, actually, there are a number of these around the city of Richmond, and over the course of this year, we'll probably be, be back to you on numerous occasions uh, referring these to plan commission, and then they'll, they'll come back to you for consideration. But what we're doing here is cleaning up just some of these areas that were. Uh, that over the years when, when our city was laid out <coughs> where streets were supposed to have been built and never were built, we're going to uh, vacate these and turn the, uh, the property back over to the adjacent property owners. Uh, many of these rights of way, <coughs> for example, are already being maintained by those individuals. They probably think they own it already anyway. So, <laughs> But this is the first one of several that you'll see this year uh, at M and South 16th Streets. You refer, we need to we refer, need to refer this to the Planning Commission. I'm sorry. Yeah. And, and when will this be heard? Fourth Thursday of uh, February. <coughs> we'll hold ordinance for now. Um, and I heard this particular uh, two two fourteen. Is that it? Or no, it's one, one. two thousand fourteen, isn't it? Yes. yes. Okay. So I've had some questions as to what exactly the, has the city been doing with these imaginary streets up until now? Nothing. Okay. Uh, that that's these these areas were. Pardon me. So that's all. We're asking the neighbors to mow it for us. Uh, but uh, the idea is to put them back on the tax rolls because there's no future use plan for these areas. Okay, so the the people that thought they owned them all along but were maintaining them, as Mr. Foster stated on February the 3rd, 2014, thought they owned them and now they're going to be taxed on them. Is that correct? Well, I don't know that they all knew that, but... He the, said the it. The fact is, yes, the, a lot of people, I think, just assumed it over the I years. Just, I just called it that day, so I just have a few things I need to say, and then yes. I'll take questions if uh, that's okay. But that's, uh, um, yes, they will be paying taxes on it. They didn't before, and I can't speak to whether they knew they owned it or not. Okay. Okay. I, a woman, accept your oath as bond to uphold the Constitution for the United States of America and Indiana State Constitution and the common law of England according to the hierarchy of law. I require of the man Jack, the man Bruce or Bruce, the man Don, the man Clayton, the man Larry, the man Ronald, the man Phil, the man Walt, and I require the women, Kelly, the, man, the woman Misty, the woman Sally, the woman Karen, to provide their oaths of office with the regulations and certifications, bond number 
errors and omission, liability, carrier, contact information for the compliance officer, and the same for the underwriter. I trust that what you are, you are to administrate is not part of or under Resolution Agenda 21. And I have my, my, uh, my mailing location for you. Any, any questions? questions? Any questions? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Are this is a public record request. This is what I just requested on the public record. Is what that's my mailing, and I'm not going to submit anything. I put it on the record. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other public comments to come before council on this ordinance? Treated as a public record request. Okay. And we will look into that those documentation. We will look into this documentation and we will try to locate these documents. And we will notify you of the cost of those documents if they exist once we locate them. I would like certified copies and I and I I I, I uh, know that they exist and I would like those put sent to my mailing address. Thank you. I, I understand that. I'm not. Ar I'm just letting you know. I'm just informing you of. of All right. Thank you. That's not that. Thank you. And I trust the law department will respond accordingly. We've responded verbally in accordance with the law, and we will also follow up with a written correspondence. Mr. Wilson. Hi, Nick Wilson. I live here in Richmond. I'm not addressing the ordinance. I'm addressing what just happened here. I. Kim, I'm sorry. Yes. I don't think that's the way we do public record requests, are is it? I mean, I have to put all mine in writing what? if I want a public record request. She has submitted it verbally. I, I've tried to submit verbally too before and have been, you and know, turn it in paper. Normally, we require them to submit them in writing. Then okay. that's Hold what we need here. to do. Then we're that's, we're that's what we need to do. We're on public hearing on Ordinance 1 2014. So right. I'd like comments to be limited to that ordinance, please. Are there any further comments? Mm -hmm. Move for engrossment. Second. second. There's been a motion and a second to engross Ordinance 1 2014. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. President. Mr. Parker. Move to suspend the rules and advance the Ordinance 1 2014 to third and final reading by title only. Second. There's been a motion and a second to suspend the rules and advance ordinance 1 2014 to third reading to read by title only. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Ordinance number 1, 2014, a special ordinance vacating a public way. Any final comments? Please call the roll. Jack Elstro? Aye. Kelly Cruz Nicholson? Aye. Bruce Whistle? Aye. Don Wingett? Aye. Larry Parker? Aye. Misty Hollis? Aye. Ron Oler? Aye. Phil Quinn? Aye. And Clay Miller? Aye. All are in favor? We have no ordinances on third reading, and I guess for clarification on two matters, Ordinance 11 2014 will advance to second reading by, uh, by our uh, rules, and, and again, I would ask uh, looking to make sure whether that needs to be advertised before public hearing at the next meeting. And then with respect to Ordinance 15 2014, um, I've directed that that be uh, submitted to Unsafe Building Commission, Historic Preservation Commission, and Plan Commission. If there are any other uh, boards, committees, or uh, agencies that are interested in comments on that, again, I would ask that those be uh, th those reports be made in, in a timely fashion. Uh, Mr. President, Mr. Whistle, when were you looking for the responses from the committee? By, by May 13th, okay. uh, so that, that would be those would be distributed. Okay, thank you. Is that, is that, Mr. President, the May 13th for the May 19th and Correct. The next meeting? May 13th is a Tuesday, so we've given our packet for the following Monday night. Any other business come before council? Yes. Mr. <coughs> Dr. Orr. Mr. President, before we adjourn, Madam Mayor, I'd like to have you formally recognize our new fire chief, if you could, please. We haven't done that yet in a public meeting.
Our new fire chief for sale. Chief for Congratulations, Jerry. Thank you. Um, as I stated in the paper, um, it's an honor. Um, I take it, uh, the job um, very seriously and um, have been with the department for 30 years. And I hope that I can serve the men as well as citizens well and leave a good footprint. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Any other business? Move for adjournment. Second. Motion second to adjourn. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? These are all done on the April 11, 2014. Uh, wing it, and I think, let's see. Ron Over. Hopefully his is right. Pretty day, that's good. I think it's whistle then. March the 18th, 2014. Ah, they're smart. There's a bond. That's from her. It's a third of thousand. But there's a blanket policy for all the public officials. Let's see who that attorney in fact is. Amy Knox, attorney in fact. That is a office. Support the Senate Constitution, the United States Constitution, the state of Indiana, the district of East Miami, the city clerk, the fidelity. They can contribute to funds to pay for the That's 2013. That's Tony Cabron. Here's the power of attorney. And I'm pretty sure that there's a Larry Parker. 
And Larry said they're a long time. So. Donald Wingett, that's the guy that on that fight at 49-24. That's Highway 35 North property that was part of that 439 grade. That's Highway 35 North across the street. Fight this fight. Right. Okay. Close whistles is all right. Kelly Cruz Nicholson. Jack Elstros is good. Twenty first day of April. They think they're slick. The eighteenth of March, the dates on these documents and then on my birthday. <laughs> and she holds birth certificates for the city and my birth certificates are used under this land fraud under the 4924 that Winget owned. West End Bank comes in and gives my birth certificate under what we think is the clerk's thinking is a stolen identity of Rachel. 